Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are all doing well this morning. I know I am. I just got out here, gonna get a few shots up, getting ready for an antelope hunt. This morning, I wanted to run you guys through a new piece of gear that I got and something I wore last weekend in the antelope hunt and I'm gonna keep wearing in this early archery season. And that would be the marsupial gear enclosed binocular harness. I just got this probably the week before, it was the week before my antelope hunt and I got it set up as quickly as I could and ran with it last week. And so I've got one weekend under my belt with this and I really don't have anything negative to say about it. It's, I really like this thing and I have the medium. So the medium fits, it's on their website. So you'll have to check, but the minimum they recommend for the medium and the maximum for the small is going to be in the seven inch range so i got the medium i have the vortex talon hds 10 by 42s they're about 6.9 to like seven inches long so they fit in here just nice there's a little room up top here you can see but yeah they fit nice i am able to keep my tripod adapter on there which is a little bulky on the bottom here but it slides just right in there, which is nice. I'm not gonna run it all the time, but it's really nice for those Western hunts where you're using a tripod to glass. All right, so let's get in to some of the features of this bino harness. First off, you have this front zipper. This front zipper is nice. It, it's really stretchy and you really can't keep a whole lot in there. I know I've seen people keep knives in there. I really am only keeping a chaps, a tube of chapstick in there. And if we're elk hunting or something where I'm gonna have calls, I'll probably keep my extra calls in here too. You can see that it does, it stretches outwards rather than like taking up space in the vinyl harness. I know that's one thing that they're really selling on this new stretchy fabrics is, is you're not taking up space in the vinyl harness by adding stuff out here. And once again, not meant for a whole lot of stuff, just for small things. All right, next, let's talk about these side pockets that we've got here. As you can see, they're really nice. They're deep. They're probably, oh, about three and a half to four inches deep. And they're also that stretchy material. So the nice thing about these is there's a little overlap. So I like to keep my, my Stanislavski SX3 in there and it fits just perfect. Slides in and out. I have space to tuck the thumb button back here on my chest. And then on this side, I don't have anything in there right now, but last weekend as we were stalking and filming and stuff, I kind of realized that as a cameraman, if you're the cameraman that weekend and you're wearing this harness, it'd be nice to keep an extra battery in here, which would fit easily. Or if you're somewhere where you're gonna need a windicator, a windicator will obviously fit in here just fine also. And one nice thing about the fully enclosed portion is it does give you a little bit of a wing to tuck stuff under, and it just gives you some added security right there. So another thing that you get with this fully enclosed version is you'll get like your standard marsupial fold down where it's got magnets on the bottom here that holds this wide open. But you do get a little bit of structure here, which is why it might look like it's a little bulky out to the front. You just have some, this is pretty stiff foam here. So you have structure that's gonna allow you to not ever have any issues with that one-handed operation. You also have fleece on the inside here that is just really soft and it'll be really nice for your binos and just in general, just nice to have that fleece in there to protect your binos. So a couple things that I added are, I have the buckle delete kit. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll get a closer shot. I have the buckle delete kit. So basically these are just clips rather than buckles and you get rid of one buckle each side. And then on that buckle delete kit is where I hung my little spuds lens cleaner, which it's always nice to have one of these. I tried running it up here first, but I didn't really like the way it was just on the front of my harness. I'd rather have it on the side and it's less noticeable over here. I also 
run my rangefinder pouch over here with paracord tied up here. Now they do sell a rangefinder pouch, which looks really nice. I just didn't spend the money to get it. And along with that, you can see I run my paracord from up here because if I'm not gonna have my rangefinder in the rangefinder pouch at some point, I'd rather have it hanging down here than hanging from the rangefinder pouch down here. So that's why I like it right here. I can shorten this up. I tied a knot that um, I'll be able to use to shorten this up. So I can probably get it to sit about right here if I want to. Another nice thing about this harness is they have a pouch in the back here, a nice stretchy pouch that I like to use to keep my phone in. I would show you, but I'm obviously videoing with my phone right now. So yes, I just keep my phone back in there and it's nice like when you're going on a stock or you're glassing or whatever, um, just to keep it back there and you can pull out, pull it out, look at Onyx, make sure you're where you need to be and just slide it right back in there. Another new addition to these enclosed bino harnesses is they added some more molly webbing on the bottom here. And this molly webbing on the bottom, they'll have accessories to attach to it. Um, they just came out with a new, like a bow holder that is just a couple clips that you clip, you clip, yeah, clip onto the back ones here and it just hangs down below here so you can set your bow on there, which that looks pretty cool. I think it would be nice for like glassing and stuff when you don't necessarily want to be holding your bows and you want to be using both your hands. I also, you can see, I also keep a Night Eyes gear tie under here. One of the short ones, just cause these things are so handy that why not keep one there? They can be used for so many different things and I always just like to have one on me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I gave you enough info on it. You'll see us wearing, you'll see me wearing this and you'll see me wearing a County 6 Traeger Optics harness. I think they both have their own purpose. I kind of like the Traeger Optics harness for like rifle season stuff, colder stuff, cause it's got a, um, a hand warmer attachment and stuff like that. and. I like this one for early season archery stuff because I can keep my release right on the side here, right on the right hand where I like to keep it. I really love this thing so far and I'm looking forward to getting out and using it more and being, um, kind of getting my system more dialed in with this. If you guys like this video, make sure you're hitting the like button, make sure you're subscribing, checking us out on Instagram at the seasons media. And Brian's also got a podcast. It's called the hunting overtime and it's on pretty much every podcast platform. So check that out also and have a great day. I'm gonna go get some arrows downrange. Yeah.